Hey, so I thought for today's video lesson it would be useful to start to talk about what is called the major scale um, because as, as vocalists it's important for us to still keep in mind what our scales are and how they work. So you've probably heard this before. Do, re, mi, fa, so, na, ti, do. You've probably heard it before, but I don't know if anybody's ever explained it before. So I've put up here on the whiteboard, let me just get this camera angle set up here. On the whiteboard, I've set up what our, there we go, now you can see it. I've set up what our major scale is. So you can see our major scale are the notes that we sing but we can sing them either in solfege or on numbers. Now, what do I mean by in solfege? So you've seen these before. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Those are syllables. They're, that's what they're actually called, are syllables. But we call them solfege. It's an Italian word that just describes these particular sounds and the order that we sing them in. And they are called solfege. Now they are do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, and do. And each of them corresponds to a different note that we sing. So when we sing it, we have do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And do, you'll notice, if we look at the piano, I'm just going to set this down so you can see the piano, when we're singing this, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Do and Do are the same note, just far apart. Do, Do, Do. That is called an octave, because if we take a look at our numbers again, we look at our numbers. Instead of singing it on solfege, let's sing it on numbers. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we look at the word octave, the first part of the world is octa. So if we think octopus, how many arms does an octopus have? eight arms. If we think about the shape, an octagon. An octagon has eight sides. An octave is eight notes apart. It's always going to be eight. So we sing eight even though they're both technically one. So we could sing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. But then it can get a little bit confusing when we start to use exercises if we sing both of these as ones, right? So we sing eight so that we know which one it is that we're talking about. That's why we split it up. So if we're going to sing the full scale, so I'll put, I'll put next to here, technically it's one, but we sing eight. Because when we sing it, we don't go, we don't have a different word for this, for this in solfege. We just say do again. But if we sing it in numbers, we can specify which do it is by either saying one for the low one or eight for the high one. So if we're going to sing this as a scale, we're going to sing all the way up to eight, but we're not going to sing eight again. We're going to go right back to seven. So it'll sound like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Ti, la, so, fa, mi. So we're singing each of those syllables once, and we're not singing it twice on top. We're just going to sing it for one time. So one more time, here's what it sounds like. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Or on numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So from here, this is going to be the first step in many exercises that we do using our major scale, either in solfege or on numbers, as a stepping point. So for this week, practice your major scale, practice with solfege and with your numbers, and you can practice it with this piano track right now. So here's going to be the notes. So I'll sing it one time, then I'm not going to sing it so you can practice this at home. So here's what it sounds like. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. 
So make sure you're singing along with me. Or on numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Or without me. So here are just the notes. So there you have it. So practice that as many times as you would like, just to get, make sure that that's nice and comfortable. We're going to start to add major scale exercises into our practice routine. So this is a good place to start. So this week, add the major scale. I will see you next time. Take care.